Hey guys, my name is Doug with infotainment.com. Today we're working on the new body 2019 and up Ram 1500 truck. Now many of you who have a tradesman or a big horn trim level, you do not have the driver's side visor illuminated mirror and you don't have the home link garage door opener feature. So here at infotainment.com, we figured out how to install that in your truck 100% plug and play. And today we're gonna show you guys how to install it. It's very, very easy to do. Again, it's all plug and play. There are two different color visors. You have a black and then you have the beige color. So on our website, just select whatever one you have. And then you'll also have the wiring included as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started and we'll show you how easy it is to install. All right, on this uh, 2019 Ram truck here, we're gonna be swapping out the sun visor. Um, this particular truck doesn't have a vanity mirror. Uh, this sun visor is gonna include a illuminated vanity mirror and a home link, so he's getting quite an upgrade. To install this new sun visor, we're gonna have to remove the old one, and way back here, actually. See, I could probably show you on the new one here. You have a little cover here that you're gonna slide down. It's uh, on a swivel, and it's gonna give you access to your two T20 Torx bits that is holding the mirror on. So we'll go ahead and remove that now. Once you remove your T20s, you can pop your mirror out of there. And you need to kind of, there's like a hook, so you gotta kind of twist it out of there in that motion there and that'll pop that hook free. Now included with your sun visor kit is this uh, infotainment exclusive wiring harness um, that you need for this upgrade. So this is gonna be ran over to your overhead console here um, it's going to give you power to your sun visor uh, for those lights in there as well as power to that home link in there so to get into there we got to drop your um, overhead console down and inside of your sunglass holder you have two eight millimeter screws holding this on there's one on either side the washer is built into those screws. And yours may not just fall out like ours did. If it's stuck up in there, you just got a couple of clips in the rear here. Just pop those down, and that'll give you access to the wires that you need. Now, we'll remove this so you can see what we're doing here. All right, so once you get your overhead console removed, um, you're going to be left with these two plugs here. This uh, smaller plug with all the brown wires in it, this is the plug that you're going to be teeing off with your um, included wiring harness here. Then this spare blue wire is going to go, or this uh, blue connector is going to go to this pink and yellow wire here, and that's going to give your home link power. And this is a posi tap, so it basically just slides over the wire, and the other end will pierce that wire. And there you go. Now, this end needs to get to your sun visor. So in order to do that, I rigged up a little zip tie here or three zip ties and basically I'm going to use this as a fish wire to kind of follow this harness over and uh, hopefully have this zip tie pop out on the other side so I can tape my new wire and run it through. Stick your finger on the other side you should be able to there you go should be able to feel it and uh, pull it through. I'm just going to tape the end that I want to run over there to this side of the zip tie. And as you're taping it, don't pull the other end of the wire back through, because then you're going to have to fish it, fish it through again. Once you get your zip tie pulled through to the other side, you have your wires here. Get all your tape off.
And uh, now all we have to do is plug in our new sun visor. And reattach it in the reverse order that we uh, cooled the other one out. There we go. We can put our two T20s in. Now we can reassemble our overhead console. Plug the other end of our T-harness back in where we removed our factory plug. All right, we can uh, clip this back into place. That won't clip. We'll put our two eight mils back in. All right, and there you have your new sun visor with uh, illuminated vanity and home link installed. All right, guys, another easy to install factory upgrade for the new body Ram truck. Um, you do get that lit vanity mirror and the home link system. Uh, this, those are things you take for granted when you upgrade and you get a new truck. If it doesn't come with it, it is annoying. You want to get this upgrade from infotainment.com. Again, very easy to install and inexpensive. Come to infotainment.com for a whole bunch of other factory upgrades similar to this. Um, come check us out. Thanks for watching.